Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will talk about color customization in the Elementor WordPress theme. When you import the theme, you will see that different elements and their backgrounds have different colors and you may want to customize them. If we go to the dashboard, theme panel, theme dashboard and tab skins, we can see that there are lots of pre-made skins with different designs and therefore color solutions. Right now, we have the default theme installed. But I can keep the current site's content and download and then activate another skin. Now it is in the first place on the list, and if we refresh our home page, we will notice that our design, including colors, is different. We did this in just one click, and we can keep this design solution if we like it. For this particular case, let's switch back to a default skin and again refresh the page. Our color scheme is now back. Let's open a blog post and try to understand how to customize our colors. On the top bar, click Edit with Elementor. Blog post has all the elements we need. Category link, title, metadata, different paragraphs, headings, sections with alternative backgrounds. Also, below we have different fields, forms, buttons, and comments. We will try to customize all the colors. When you click on any element on the page, on the left side panel in the Style tab, we can find the color settings. The globe icon allows us to assign one of our pre-made global colors, Elementor colors and theme colors, while the color picker on the right side allows us to assign a custom color, different from our default colors. If we go to the site settings on the top of the screen, we can find our general global colors, and here we can find global colors provided by the Elementor page builder and theme colors provided by the theme. First, let's review the global colors. Here we have primary, secondary, text, and accent colors. We can customize them by clicking on them and using the color picker. Also, we can create custom colors and add them to a global color palette. We can give them a name, choose a custom color, and then use them on our pages. In the Elementra theme demo sites, all the colors are derived from the theme colors, so we can uncheck the setting to show global colors. Let's go up and switch to the theme colors. Here we have the main colors that are used in the skin that you chose. In our case, it's a default skin. We can change colors and we can reset them to return to the default values. Let's start with the background color. Right now it's white. So let's choose something more colorful to see how it works. By the way, we can rename the color titles if we don't like them. We also have the second background color used for the sections that we want to highlight. We will make them more yellowish. The next one is the border color. So let's scroll down to the elements with the border. Here we can also choose any color that we want. Our goal here is not to make it pretty, but to figure out how to use this tool. Good, now we will go up to change the title color. We will make it bright blue. You will notice that all elements marked as titles become blue. Now let's try to change the regular text color, and to make it more visible, we will make it darker. Next, we have the meta colors. So let's scroll up to our post's metadata, and let's make them also more prominent. Now, we have a link color. 
Let's scroll down to our comments section where we have a button link and change the color from red to green. Also, we can change the hover color. Right now it's light red. We will change it to dark green. Below we have alternative colors for the same elements as the second option. Now, we need to save the changes and let's go to our website. We can see that the colors of most elements and their backgrounds have changed. Some of them have stayed the same. It means that there are custom, not global colors applied. Obviously, our new color scheme does not look well, therefore, let's test the reset feature. Let's click the reset button and confirm the reset. Good, we have our default colors back. Now, let's try to apply the color settings exclusively to one paragraph that will not affect other paragraphs. We will click on the paragraph and go to the Style tab. Here again, we can apply some of our global colors, Page Builder default colors or theme colors. But we will create and choose a completely custom one. Let's make it violet. And as you can see, it affected only this paragraph. If we want to change the background of the entire section, we need to click on these six dots. Go to Style, Background Overlay. Let's choose the classic background type and choose a custom background color specifically for this entire section. Good, it worked well. Use this Elementor color panel to style your website. Hope this video was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more useful tutorials. See you in the next videos.